guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided I would recreate the Deepika Padukone inspired look which she wore to the Cannes Film Festival. I know a lot of YouTubers have already done this, but this look just blew me away. The hair, the makeup, the skin, everything was gorgeous about this look. So that's why I wanted to recreate it. I know I'm late into doing this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed nevertheless. The high ponytail, the jewelry, the fresh skin, the reverse wing liner, everything out of my comfort zone. I have never recreated a look before. I never duplicated any celebrity makeup look on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy and like it. And sound off below. Let me know how close I got to recreating this makeup look. And if you guys are interested to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. Okay, so to start with, Deepika had really glowing skin. Like her skin was glowing all three days or two days of Cannes. So I'm gonna start with a simple and quick skincare, which leads to glowing skin. Hopefully, starting with the Body Shop Tea Tree Anti Imperfection Serum. Just two drops on my skin. I don't take anything more than that because it's very very concentrated. For moisturizer, I'm gonna take the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is very hydrating and my skin is feeling very very dry this summer so can you see the glow that this gives to the skin it's so beautiful to add more to the glow i'm going to use the smashbox photo finish primer water i have the teeny tiny travel version of this i got it free with something i bought on nika just making sure my skin glows as much as possible on top of this uh, for primer i'm going to use the smashbox glow radiance primer so it says golden hour glow these are all testers because i can't really afford every single primer that smashbox sells so taking just a little bit of the glow primer Oh, this has so much glow and it's also a little tacky. So I think my skin has enough glow to get into makeup. For my base, I'm gonna use this NYX Duo of the NYX Total Drop Control Foundation and the NYX uh, Gold Illuminator. So taking a little bit of the drop foundation at the back of my hand, so just a little bit of that, dotting it on my face. Her skin was so glowy, but her foundation was not caked at all. So I'm trying to achieve that. So after trying to achieve as glowing and as natural but full coverage of base as Deepika's, I'm going to go next in with concealer. I'm going to use the Pax Spotlight Concealer for this look. Since this concealer is very full coverage, I've taken small little dots and I'm going to blend it very quickly. For powder, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Today, I'm not going to be baking because her look was very glowy. I need the glow to stay. So I'm going to take very little of the powder on the brush and just set my under eye concealer. I need my under eyes to be flawless so that when I put that reverse wing liner, the liner does not bleed underneath my eyes. So dusting off all the excess powder, just going to concentrate this under the eyes. So this is what the base looks like so far. I'm really liking it. For bronzer, I'm using the Colourpop Pressed Powder Bronzer in the shade Rodeo Drive. The Pika had a very uh, light contour going on but definitely she has a more sharp and chiseled face so she might not need that much of a contour. So even I'm just going to go in dabbing motions with a very light hand. A little on my forehead, a little on my cheekbones, not too much. For blush, I'm taking this pressed powder blush by Colourpop. This is in the shade Tulip to Quit. This is a nice peachy pink colour, so it should be as close as it gets to the Pika's shade. For highlight, I'm using the Nykaa Glow Getter highlighters in the shade Glitter Art. So to add a little more glow, her glow was not in your face, it was very from within like her skin was glowing and her makeup was also glowing so these highlighters are very glow from within kind so that's why i'm going to use this so Deepika has a very sharp nose so i'm going to try a little bit of nose contour i've never done it before but i'm going to give it a shot Of course, the main part of the because look was her eyes, so I'm very scared slash excited to do this part. Starting with the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals palette. I'm gonna take this cool toned brown and dust it over my eyelids. 
Taking a little bit on a packing brush, I'm gonna pack this on the eyes. She didn't have a lot of dimension going on on her eyelid. She just had some warmth. I did watch a lot of videos of her getting ready and all of that uh, on her Instagram. So I saw that there was something on the eyes, but it was not anything too much. I'm gonna blend this warm brown in my crease and all over my eyelid. Okay, so for the winged liner bit, I'm gonna use this uh, felt tip eyeliner by Miniso. Uh, this has a very hard felt tip, so I feel it would be easier. I've never done this before, so wish me luck. So this is what the outline looks like. It's gone a little inside, but I'm, I can fill it in. So I'm using the L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner. Since Deepika has gone to Khan with L'Oreal, I want to use something from the L'Oreal kit. So taking a little bit, oh, this gel eyeliner is good. Oh, this is so pigmented. I'm gonna fill it all in. Okay, so this is what the winged liner looks like so far. I think I really like it. Uh, it, the most difficult task was to get them to even. I'm going to set this with a black eyeshadow, but before I do that, I'm going to tight line using the same gel eyeliner. She didn't have much going on on her upper eyelid, but I think she had a very prominent dark uh, tight line. This gel eyeliner makes my eyes burn. Okay, I'm going to do this with Kajal. I'm going to use the Nykaa IM24 by 7 Kajal for the tight lining. For brows, I'm using the Miss Clay Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. Okay, so I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill Palette very quickly, the darkest black from here to set this eye so that it does not bleed. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of the Nykaa highlighter and highlight my brow bone. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Million something lashes mascara. Okay, so I'm gonna use very mild lashes. I'm using Glomia Beauty or whatever the name is. I will leave it here. I don't really remember what the name is. I always forget and say something wrong. So these are very, very delicate and not that full. So her upper lash was not that full. It was very delicate. Uh, so I'm gonna go in with these lashes. For setting my makeup, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminating Setting Spray. I cover my eyes so that the eyes do not bleed. For lips, I'm lining with my face's lip contour in Cafe Latte. For lipstick, I'm using the L'Oreal's New Rouge Matte range in the color I choose. I feel like this lipstick is very pink, so I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D uh, Lolita 2. According to Nykaa, this is what Lipika used in this look, but I don't think this is what she used. This is very, very pink. So this is more neutral. So I'm going to try to get the same color. Okay, so for the hair, I have taken inspiration from Shreya Jane's video. I am going to tie two rubber bands on top of this very high ponytail. I'm sure Deepika was using extensions in this look. Of course, I'm not going to do that and my hair isn't even that thick. So, we're just going to work with what we have. Uh, Oh, I have already straightened my hair yesterday because I had to shoot this, so I just used a regular blow dry and straightened my hair. Okay then, for this very high heading giving point here, uh, gonna take a little bit from underneath. I'm gonna wrap it around the corner here. Okay, so I've added some diamond earrings. Uh, these are from Forever 21. I'm going to secure this in place with some hairspray. This is from Schwarzkopf. I actually literally bought this for this video because I don't use hairspray. I'm just gonna secure this on this place. 
Okay, so I guess this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this is as close as it gets. Uh, sound off below and let me know how you all like this look. Uh, let me know which other videos you all want to see on my channel. Hit the like button if you actually did like this video. Subscribe to my channel. I make videos every Sunday. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys. Mwah.